Hello and welcome to Mock Productions. You are here with me, Matthew, and we are back here with another package opening. Now, this one's ra rather interesting because I believe this is actually the first one I ordered. Um, it took a little bit um, more time just because of certain situations with the the seller, but they have arrived now. Speaking of the seller, there there it is right up there. So uh, there's his name there. Thank you very much for that. Um, this one has been slightly open just to see what was inside. Uh, just to sort of refresh my mind, I didn't know whether it was actually uh, any cards really. That that's the that's the best way of putting it. Um, but this is a very very interesting bunch because if we pull it all out, it's a very very big collection of basically a bargain bulk sale which happened, um, and there was about seven cards included. Um, and when I got round to it, he had so sold separate ones, and there was still some left. Now you'll see that some of these are promos, this one being a Japanese promo. Oddly, Darkrai with a water energy there, and Steel, but yet it's a dark Pokemon. Not too sure what that does. If anyone knows what that little bar is there, please let me know with a question mark -y type stone thing. Um, but there are several cards in here, and some pretty interesting, you'll see this sort of plasticky stuff because they haven't been opened and I'm interesting I'm interesting I'm interested to find out what exactly that is so as we slice this open there we go let's have a little look at these because these are in fact three of the four uh, generations yeah generation cards now I don't know whether they're from a pre-release because they're already in like a sort of foil thing. I don't know whether the, when you bought uh, so because this this reminds me of the Toys R Us stuff with the little thing on the back. We opened a um, Toys R Us um, oh what was it? Um, Alolan <laughs> Vulpix. Uh, that was it Vulpix? Yes it was. Um, and that had the same sort of coding on the back so maybe it is. Maybe when you like bought so much you got like one of four because I know there's four of these I'm not too sure whether it was a pre-release but guys in the comments they'll probably be able to tell me straight away what these are but three of these were thrown in they were sort of on the side to make up for the ones which weren't in here now obviously we have a few others let's try and get this sellotape off because obviously come on Sticky, sticky sellotape. What's going on? Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, so we also have the a Volcanion EX. That was part of it, a Darkrai EX. So you're probably thinking, oh, okay, fair enough. There was also um, Xerneas here, which is a promo from something, but it's number 31. Let me know what that is from. So that's another promo in particular. Um, that Darkrai, which is a Japanese one. And I'm not going to lie, the whole point I did this was to get that. I wanted a full art Rayquaza because this one looks amazing. Now, if I'm correct, this is probably a Roaring Skies one. I wouldn't expect it to be any other series except for Roaring Skies because there's about 50 Rayquazas in there. But I love this artwork so, so much. Whether it is a playable card or not is... Discard the top three cards of your deck for 100 damage. Hmm. If your opponent's active Pokemon is a Pokemon EX, this attack does 50 more damage, so that's 60. Eh, it's an okay card. It's an okay card. So yeah, this whole thing, now I don't know how much all of this is worth. Okay, that was just in a sleeve in there. Okay, I'm not losing my mind. That's fine. Whew. Let's start the trade process. But this, all of this, I believe, came to £14. Now, I don't know whether that is a bargain. Um, I'm pretty sure it is because there's like several cards here that EX must be worth quite a nice amount These sleeves are just popping out of there, but that's fine because they can stay in there um, This dark right here the pro the Japanese promo straight in there uh, We got a Volcanion EX. I'm always happy to have another Volcanion. I think I've got This is number five now of no actually <laughs> No, it is actually number five because I've got a promo from the tin I've got the full art, 
And now I think I've got three of these ones. I could have four. So I've got a humongous playset of Volcanion EX there. So that's pretty sweet. Those three right there. Obviously, I'm not going to open those ones there. This can come out of the sleeve right there and just be replaced with one of ours. And the other three can stay in their original packaging. Which is really, really cool. Really cool. I like the logo on there. Um, I'm just not too sure what, what they are for, what they're from or anything. I'm believing there is four of them. My guess is there's probably a Pikachu one. <clears throat> that would be my guess anyway. Um, but you'll, you'll probably be able to tell me. Obviously what that promo is, uh, the Exernius one, where's that come from? That, um... The Darkrai there is also a promo, so if anyone knows about that one, let me know. Of course, I know Steam Siege and I'm believing Roaring Skies on that. <clears throat> but apart from that, I mean, a very nice uh, package there, full of stuff. And believe it or not, this was the first one that was ordered. Um, but uh, yeah, very cool. I just love the artwork on this so, so much. It's just so, so cool. Rayquaza is just awesome. Very, very cool indeed. Be awesome if we could just pull a random mega of that. That would just be amazing. Maybe not from the same set, because I know he is in uh, Primal Clash. Um, but uh, who knows? Who knows? We might be able to get lucky at some point and uh, see a mega appearing in our collection. <clears throat> But apart from that, I'm going to leave it here for this video. So yes, uh, if you want to subscribe to the channel, make sure to do that uh, to keep up to date with all the newest, freshest Pokemon stuff. We're burning shadows coming up very, very soon. We've also got the pre-release stuff, which I'm hoping to get some gameplay from that as well. Um, I'd love to be able to do that, so hopefully I can indeed get some of that. Um, comment down below as well, uh, obviously all of the different things here, other than the two that I've mentioned in terms of Rayquaza and Volcanion, let me know where the others are, uh, are from, if you do know, if you don't, take a guess, why not, and we can, I might even just research it just to see if you're right, and give you a nice big tick. Um, but uh, lastly, of course, you can rate the video as well, so I know you're enjoying the series of all these openings. And apart from that, I will leave it here, and I'll see you guys in the next video on the channel.